BrainScope is a visual exploration tool for gene expression data in the human brain. It uses the gene expression measurements of the Allen Institute for Brain Science. This video will give an overview of the user interface for the Dual Explorer for the adult human brain. First examine the centrally placed scatter plots. These are the gene map and the sample map. The gene map on the left contains 20,000 genes, each represented by a point. When two of these points are close together, the genes have a similar expression pattern throughout the brain. The sample map on the right contains 105 samples, each with a unique location and annotation in the brain. The samples are grouped by their similarity in gene expression, and the colours of the points reflect those of the Allen Reference Atlas of the brain. Three slices of this atlas are shown on the right. These are used as choropleths. If we scroll down the page, we can see all slices and change which ones are selected. All these parts are interactive and linked. If we move our mouse over one of the samples in the sample map, several things happen. The sample is highlighted and its name is shown in the map. The corresponding anatomical area in the brain is highlighted in the choropleth, so we can see its location, and the gene map changes colour. Each gene is now coloured by the expression in this sample. Red points are genes with high expression, blue points have a low expression. Brain regions can also be selected directly by clicking in the choropleth. Here we also see the full name of the brain region. Now we explore the gene map. When we move our mouse over the gene map, we highlight a set of 50 genes around the pointer. The name of the centre gene is shown on the plot. The average expression of the 50 genes is shown both in the sample map and the choropleth on the right. The sample points change size and the choropleth is coloured by expression, again with high in red and low in blue. If we click in the gene map, sample map or choropleth, we make a selection. All these selections are automatically saved in the selections list on the left. By right-clicking on a gene selection, we can directly perform a gene ontology enrichment analysis in top gene or enricher. By right-clicking on a map, we can see several options for selection methods and visualization. The density plot gives a better view of the number of genes in dense regions. Selections of genes and samples can also be made outside of the maps. If we go to Upload Selections, we find an entry field for gene or sample identifiers and the option to upload a file. Let's try it by looking up the APOE gene. The gene is highlighted in the gene map and its expression is shown in the sample map and the choropleths on the right. Finally, the top left of the screen contains the ontological tree of brain region. We can search for a brain region and select a region of interest in the tree. You can get more help by enabling tooltips or reading the help. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy using the BrainScope portal.